Welcome back. This is the sixth consecutive episode of recording in a row. I'm on a roll. Just like that. Oh, this is the Death Egg Zone. If you're playing as Tails, or if you don't have all the Chaos Symbols as Sonic, this would be the last zone in the game. But we're going to have one more short zone after this as Sonic, since we have found all the Chaos Symbols before. And I believe I'm going to record that all in one episode. As far as I know, there are no special stage rings here, or any in Hidden Palace or Sky Sanctuary. I might be wrong about that, but I don't think I've ever found them. Can't remember if I stated at the beginning of this episode, I have five of the Super Emeralds. So we'll need to do one more episode after this where we complete the last two special stages, and then I can do a hypersonic playthrough. And I seriously just fell for that twice. those rings. Those conveyor belts switch directions uh, anytime Sonic or Tails jumps on them, so that's actually one part where it's harder to have Tails with you because he's always jumping and doing crazy things. The floor there would hurt me now, but if I had a lightning shield still, uh, still I could just walk on it and get through this area faster. It's funny how Tails isn't landing, but that's probably a good thing. Let's see, which one is this? Uh, it's just the slots. I was hoping to get a shield. Try to get out of here fast. Oh, I thought for sure that was going to take away all my rings. Okay, there we go. I hope these past few episodes have been better than, like, uh, 3 through 6, where I think it was. I was recording early, those early in the morning, and I felt like that really made me worse. Oh, that last part, you were supposed to turn all the yellow switches red. I should have explained that. And we don't have to do anything here. I don't think there's any way to control where that goes. We're at the end of Act 1. This boss is actually uh, fairly challenging. There's two stages to it. 
And both stages require a fair number of hits. Don't want to lose my only ring. And I did. Might have to try this again. Yep. The second stage is the really hard one. Tail's got an extra hit in for me. That's good. So that's three total. Let's try to count four. I guess it's best to wait for him to get to the edge of the screen. Okay, I think that was five. Six. Seven, eight. Okay, so it's eight, just like a, a normal Act Two boss. Most of the Act One bosses are six hits. Act 2, it's possible for the gravity to change, just like that. I want that lightning shield. I don't know if it'll let me get it. No, I'll go on. Forgot the lightning bolts can still hurt you through a lightning shield, but those panels can't. Wrong way.
I hate the conveyor belt so much. I think that shield ability uh, actually got me through that projectile. Just like with the scorpion back in Sandopolis. Maybe I'm finally learning how to use it after all these years. Probably not. Okay, we've got a boss here before the final boss of this zone. It's another one we can't hurt directly. But those little Roomba things he uh, puts out will hurt him if they hit him. If they're upside down, you can spin dash into them to launch them into the air. Final boss is actually not especially hard for a final boss, at least compared to, you know, like Sonic 2. Uh, that was a hard final boss, mostly because you got no rings. So there's two stages to this, one where he tries to crush you with the f his fingers and you just have to destroy the fingers. The timing is uh, very easy to get. You have a very large window to dodge and hit.
Okay, first stage is over. Dodge the flame, hit him in the nose, hit the chamber with the Master Emerald, dodge the beam. That's all there is to it. Timing is uh, very important here, so it definitely takes some time to get used to beating this boss, but since I've done several practice runs before recording, I'm, I'm sure I'm making this look easy. Okay, one more stage after this. The most important thing here is to not let Sonic hit the right side of the screen. If you do, you will die. Mostly because it just slows him down so much. So just keep holding right. Hit Dr. Robotnik. Don't hit the right side of the screen. And that's the end of this. Now on to the next zone, Doomsday. Since we've gotten all the Chaos Emeralds before, uh, we get to play a Super Sonic and finish off Dr. Robotnik. First we just need to try to collect as many rings as we can and avoid the missiles. They don't hurt, but they slow Sonic down. Okay, we're doing really good. If you need an extra boost of speed, you can press jump. That makes Sonic do a dash. Okay, we're closing in. There's no way for us to hurt him directly, but we can lead his missiles into the face on the front of a ship, and that does damage. Okay, that's the first stage of this fight done. We're almost done. And we have 30 rings, so that's very good. Just have to pursue him by dashing forward. There's no point in hanging back trying to collect rings. It's best to just be aggressive here. Ten seconds remaining. And we're done. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be. Might be an extra long one, which is fine. Sonic and Tails have retrieved the Master Emerald. And they are taking it back to Angel Island, where Knuckles is. Nope, putting my controller down didn't make too much noise. And we are done with our playthrough as Sonic and Tails. In the next episode, I'll be doing the last two special stages. And 
then I'm not sure if I will do a hypersonic playthrough next or if I will do Knuckles.